Hello, my name is Mike Davis and I'm your CAD guru. So today I'm going to talk about how to download your software. Autodesk has quite a few different ways you can do it from the download manager to the browser, from your account manager, and now they have a new option called AVA, Autodesk Virtual Agent. This takes place of the former virtual agent that was commonly used when you had problems downloading or installing your software. So now they have renamed it, it's AVA, and it's more interactive. You have the option to sign in in the upper corner, create account, and things like that. So let's get started. Today I'm gonna to use Inventor. That's primary, primarily where I do support, but I also support various other Autodesk products, but I'm gonna go with Inventor today. So we'll type in Inventor 2018 download, or you could just type Inventor download. You'll be asked, do you have a license? You say yes. Sometimes it will ask you, oh, do you have access to the product key? Yes. Please enter the serial number of the product key. So you have to go get your product key. So what I've done is I've gone to the 2018 product key locations on the AKN. I'm going to find my inventor. Professional. And yes, they still have Basic Inventor available currently right now for those that were on Perpetual Subscription. So we're gonna stick with the professional version right now. We'll come back to Ava. I'll type in the product key. From there, she'll give me this option. Now, that's kind of silly is they give me the option to put in all the other years, but they just have me put in the product key for 2017. Not sure why. Now, another issue I wanna point out beforehand is if all of a sudden you're in this and you say, oh, I haven't signed in, I'm gonna sign in really quick. If you do that, you will start all the way over on your download. It's gone. So now I have to come back again. Inventor, oops. Do you have a license? All this again, it, it, it's horrible. It doesn't let, it doesn't remember. And hopefully that's one of the upgrades they do this to Ava in the upcoming releases of her. So we'll click next. From here, you're gonna pick, because Vault is included, well, Vault Basic is included in Inventor 2018 and some of the prior versions, you have the choice to download it here. I'm gonna pick Inventor. Not sure why I have to pick an operating system because the only operating system available is 64-bit, so it should default to that by choice. From here, I'll pick my language. Here's all the available language packs and versions. I'll pick English. Now, the one thing I really don't like about this again is you would then have to scroll. It should minimize back up and let you continue on instead of having to scroll. Now you'll be given the download methods. Again, I prefer the three-part download. I'm not a big fan of download now. I've had more issues in my years of doing support with the download now. So I always, take the three options, download it here, one, two, three. I save them to my computer for, for future use if I ever need it or to share with coworkers and things like that. Um, from there, after I download all three, you must download all three or you will get an extraction error saying this contains multiple parts and some part files and pieces are missing. So once all three are downloaded, I will then double click on 001, which you could really pick any of them, but I. Just pick a whole one. It'll bring up your extraction. You'll pick where you want to extract it. I still use the C slash Autodesk folder. From there, all of it will extract a few minutes, up to five to 10 minutes, depending upon your computer and space. While it's doing that, this is the perfect time to empty out your temporary app data folder. If this is full, this is, or has a lot of data in it, it can slow down and cause problems with your installation. So. While it's downloading, clean out your temp folder, turn off your user access control, UAC, turn off your firewall, and turn off your antivirus. These are things that are preached over and over and over. I can't tell you how many installation errors I get a week due to things like this. So, download all three, clean out the temp folder, turn off your UAC, turn off your antivirus, turn off your firewall. From there, after you get your installation pop-up box, and it's installing. From there, you should be able to install it and everything should go smoothly. Pick from there what you want to use and not use. You don't have to 
install everything. So if you don't want the A360, don't install it. If you don't want recap, don't install it. Pick and choose. You don't have to take it all. I think that's a misconception that not everybody understands is in the installer, you don't need everything. So I hope this video helps you. I hope you understand how Ava works. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, check out my website, www.yourcat.guru. Thanks and have a great day.